Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something special. You see, behind every great mix lies a meticulously crafted template, and I'm here to unveil mine. I've spent years honing my craft, and I'm excited to share with you the blueprint behind my process. Every element of my Pro Tools template serves a purpose, and it's taken countless hours of refining to get everything just right. So whether you're a seasoned engineer looking for new techniques or a budding producer looking to level up your mixes, you're in the right place. Let's get ready to take your Pro Tools game to the next level. Let's dive in. Okay, here we go. Here's my starting point for my mixes. Every mix that I do, I start from this point. So you can see here I have folders set up for all the different music groups, drums, bass, guitar keys, and um, lead vocal, BGVs, and P-Comp effects. This is for all of my parallel processing, additive processing, like reverb delays, things of that nature. And this is my mix group here, uh, where all of my VCAs are housed. So I have an all VCA that controls all of the groups and then I have a P-Comp effects. It's not in the all group because I want to keep that separate and always keep that at zero unity. So that way the processing that I put on the individual channels for the sins won't change. And I have my mix bus here and my VSX master for my headphones here and then my master output. Okay. Now I'm going to import some audio to this session to begin the organization process for my mix. So let's do import audio. And let's go here. I'm going to choose all the audio from this folder. Make sure I got everything. Let's add open. And I'm going to put everything on a new track. So you see everything is here. All the audio for this session. And now I'm going to start dragging the different uh, tracks where they belong in the session. So let's start with our drums. Let's find all of our drum tracks. So starting here, everything labeled drum. I believe this is the last one. And we're gonna just drag this over. Okay, and we landed here in this folder. And now I'm going to highlight the folder name and all of the tracks in the folder. And I'm going to begin the organization process with color coding. I like to do color coding for each instrument type. It really helps with the visual aspect of seeing what I have laid out in the session. And so normally every mix is the same. So drums are always red. And let's deselect the folder name. And now I'm going to group all of the drum channels into a group that's going to be controlled by a VCA channel. So I will name this V drum. And I'm going to make it a mix type because I don't want these to be grouped together in my edit screen. Just on the mix screen. I'm going to follow globals and then here I'm going to choose my VCA V drums and hit OK. And we are now controlled. So let's close that folder. And now let's grab the next thing, which is the bass channel. So I'll be, I believe I have a, yes, a bass amp and then a bass DI channel. And I'm going to drag that over into the base folder. Same process here. Highlight everything to get the color coding. 
and now I'll group these together to make this go to the right VCA V base okay all right let's move on here we have some guitars so we have a guitar here yep I believe there's another guitar yeah right here and let's drag these over okay we're in guitar folder now we're gonna color coordinate and now group these together V guitar mix put that on the VCA V guitar okay okay next will be our key channel I believe we have one key channel here okay that's going in the keys and now let's color coordinate this The colors help me out so much visually in a mix. Helps me stay very organized. So now there's only one track in this group or in this VCA, but I still want to make it a group. That way it will be controlled by the one VCA channel. So let's make a new group. V keys. Mix. And choose the VCA okay all right what do we have left here we have a vox bone vox lead and a vox trumpet okay let's grab the lead lead vocal i will go in and rename these tracks once i have them all organized let's get our color Okay, and now let's make that group. This is V lead. Okay, got that done. Let me close this one up. All right, and let's take these last two audio channels, which are BGV slash horns. I'm going to put them in the BGB folder. Let's color coordinate. And let's group V, BGVs, mix. All right. That's done. That's all of our audio so far. So everything is in its perspective place now as you can see here i think i may have explained this before but i have a folder for all of my p comp and effects all of my additive processing parallel processing and that's going to be controlled by its own vca over here but it's not going it's not in the group the all group so the all is controlling all of these vcas but not the Peacock Effects VCA, and that's on purpose. Okay, so let's get this back to zero. We got all of our coordinating done, color coordinating, everything is laid out. All the tracks are there. You can see in my edit screen, it keeps everything really clean, really organized, and it puts you at a great place to start your mix. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I hope you found some insight and some valuable information in crafting your own Pro Tools mixing templates. Remember, it's about experimentation and finding what works best for your unique sound. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to get more content like this in the future. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep pushing the boundaries of your sound. This is Darius Fincher signing off. 
happy mixing.